The three of us stood in the middle of the living room, head back, mouths agape, staring at the ceiling. Myself, my friend Pierre, and his 11-year-old son Baxter. We weren't quite sure if our efforts were going to be successful. Above us, now covering the six-foot hole in the middle of the roof, was a simple blue tarp. It was replacing the plexiglass conical dome that had been blown off by Hurricane Earl. With every heave and gust of wind, the tarp crackled and heaved. We weren't sure if it was going to stay in place. The eye of the hurricane had passed, but it would still be a couple of hours before the heavy winds would fully subside. For my friends, this was perhaps the climax of their East Coast motorcycle adventure. Saving a yurt in a hurricane. For myself, I was a lot more exposed. I had spent the entire summer building the yurt with my two hands. Not only that, but in order to make it happen, I quit my job, I sold my house in Toronto, and I moved away from family and friends. Only to have all of that effort blown apart by the wrath of the gods. I went with the first thought that came into my head. I turned to my friend Pierre and I said, Beer? Hi, my name is Jason Hamilton, author of Life, the Yurt, and Everything. I'm going to be under the big tree at the Market in the Park in Shediac, New Brunswick on August 31st, 2014 at 1 p.m. sharing with you my yurt adventure. I'm going to explain everything from concept, design, to final product. I'll tell you what a yurt is, where it originated from, and the modern interpretation that we built on our property just outside of Rishabuktu. I'll also delve, delve into some of the more challenging aspects of building a green-friendly home in rural New Brunswick. Challenges that range from the logistical. So how do you vent the plumbing in a round canvas home? To the procedural. Where in the bowels of government do you find the explanation for why you can't install a composting toilet inside a dwelling? I'll also attempt to assuage some of the green guilt many of us feel that compel us to tackle projects such as these. Projects that, upon completion, don't fully match the original vision we had in our mind. My hope is that we'll learn to celebrate the achievements for what they are and learn to omit that which hasn't been accomplished. Join me, Jason Hamilton, on August 31st, 2014 at 1 p.m. under the big tree at the Market in the Park in Shediac, New Brunswick, where I will share with you life, the yurt, and everything.